Hey guys, it's Gus and if you follow Neverwinter and notice one of their most recent blogs, they're trolling us. They're trolling us super hard. You know, the Jubilee just ended. And if you didn't know, because you're somewhat new to the game, the Jubilee is the event of Neverwinter. It was the event for years. It was bigger than the Summer Fest. It was bigger than the Gaunt event. It was bigger than the Winter Festival. Every single player in this game was in Whispering Caverns, Ebb and Downs, or the Guild Stronghold following that merchant. Because they dropped the most valuable items in the game. And they were discount vouchers. And just a little rewind in history for all the new newer players. When the game started out for the first few years, they had a 50% off sale twice per year. Maybe three times. New Year's, Black Friday, and the anniversary. And it was huge. It was 50% off any single thing you bought in the auction house. But it was only good for 24 hours and it was gone. So everybody who missed it was left completely out of the dust. But that's okay. Because they left, they still had the resources left over for the Jubilee. And they dropped discount vouchers. And there was various discount vouchers. There was um, one for the seal store. Like you could get 25% off anything from the seal store. But the big one was the 25% off from the bazaar. And this what made this 25% off coupon off so good is it stacked with your VIP discount. So you get 50% off anything from the bazaar and it was good for a half hour. So you were busy cycling through your tunes, transferring AD to your main account that had the coupon to buy everything you could. And players made fortunes off of it. And new players saved fortunes because they could buy this stuff cheaper from the auction house from other players than they could buy from the bazaar. And it just created complete chaos and anarchy in the, um, uh, in the ecosystem, so to speak. You know, Zen went super up and then super down because once the Zen sale was over, everybody needed AD. AD had value. And so all these players were selling their Zen to get AD. So the backlog went way down or the prices then went way down and ad became very valuable so everybody was selling everything they had dirt cheap just to try to get ad because it was the hottest commodity in the market and you only had a half hour to get it oh my goodness you could farm two or three thousand of those bounties and not get a single coupon you had to farm it night and day non-stop until you just saw that golden miraculous 25 percent off and then you went ape shit you probably bought the wrong stuff because you're frantically trying to buy as much as you possibly can. That was good times. Well, this year they announced that the vouchers are coming back. Instead of me going to ARC forums and asking about it because I've done it the last three years to be ignored all three times, I asked them directly, which I try not to do. And their reply was they inferred I don't know how to read. So they've said, we're getting the discount vouchers. They said, I don't know how to read, which told me they don't know what they're talking about and they're not coming back. What a way to be deflated. So I had no expectations of this event whatsoever because they already popped the balloon before the event even started. So the event started and players love fashion. Players have been asking for a couple years now to get the seductive fashion back. And if you don't, I'm not into fashion. I've never actually worn this uh, fashion. So we're gonna go seductive. I've had it though, cause it was in collection. So I had to get it. And you go to this and you go to inspect. Players, wait, you go inspect, oh, preview. Players love this. It gives you horns and wings and a tail and it shows off your midriff. Players love this stuff. And they've been asking for it. And I don't get fashion, but I understand a lot of players do. And they didn't listen. Uh, this probably would have made people log on just to get this set. And that's unfortunate because it seems like such an easy thing to do. But speaking of fashion, you know, most people farm the protector's bounties to do the hospitalities late after the event ended with the last minute vendor because they told us the last minute vendor was coming and it always comes. And they come here, try to get their fashion, and guess what? They left it out miraculously. It was left out of the last minute vendor so all these people holding all this renown and trinkets are left empty-handed because what they wanted to get with it isn't there anymore i don't know 
how that could have been messed up along with telling players the discount vouchers are coming, not putting the seductive gear, even though players have been asking for years. They even put in their blog, we're not going to have the seductive fashion this year. Well, that implies they know that players want it. Uh, if they purposely added that it won't be back. <laughs> These legendary insignias. Oh my god. Players need so much insignias. Because there's only a couple ways to get it. You can farm skill nodes for two deaths at a time. You can get insanely lucky at the end of a dungeon and get a mythic insignia. Or you can buy it from other players who buy it with Zen in the auction house. Uh, and I'm very fortunate. I have a lot of AD. But not everybody does. They can't afford... You know, 20 million to get those insignias they want. So this event was their chance to catch up. And I would argue that a lot of players played more this week than they'll play the entire summer combined. And those players don't follow this game religiously. Uh, you know, live it and breathe it and follow every blog and, and um, Discord comment that's ever made. You know, they read the tooltip. And they go to his own chat and they go, Hey, I heard the legendary insignias aren't dropping. And people go, Yeah, they're not dropping. And then two or three people go, I got one. So that player believes that they're coming because a couple people's com couple players confirmed it. The tooltip says it. And they don't open the bounties right away to figure out they're not dropping. They wait till the end of the event. And if you're in an active alliance, you saw how pissed players were. There was not one positive comment I saw about this entire event anywhere in our alliance chat, uh, alliance chat. And the Cobra Alliance is a very big alliance. I wouldn't be surprised if we're the biggest alliance on all the platforms. That's how big it is. You know, I, somebody's going to comment below. But we're really big. Uh, and we're very active. And we got a lot going on. So you can get a good feel of the pulse of the game in alliance chat. And um, these players were very upset. I wasn't. I was already disappointed when they promised and before the event started and then popped that balloon. You know, people, 10 years is a long time. That's a decade. You know, there's some players that were in junior high who are now in college or graduated college and are still playing this game. You know, it's covered half their life. And they thought there might be something cool about this event. And there wasn't. You know, well, let's go to collections and see. Well... Is there a throne in? Oh, the new throne is in here. Is the Elminster in here? Nope. Is the Neverwinter Hand in here? Nope. Are the new main and off hands in here? Nope. They totally forgot this. I don't know how, but they forgot to put it in collections. You know, because that's where players go to find out what's available in the game. And they left that off. I don't know how that was left off. Uh, but they were expecting something big. You know, if you've been playing this game every day for 10 years, which there are players who have done that, you know, maybe like a cape, you know, it said the number of years you've been playing or the number of hours you played, something to get that was unique, that showed off that you've stuck with this game for years. You know, anything. I don't give a shit about fashion, but players do. And nothing like that was offered whatsoever. There was nothing that showed that this was a 10-year anniversary. Oh, I got to do this because this will disappear. So you go to your home screen. I just remember this. So you go to the Claim Valuables. You go to promo, and we got this title, 30 days of VIP, and Abyssal Chicken, Echo, Pseudo Dragon. Pseudo Dragon's pretty good. Mystagog, Lich. Lich is good for tanks. Or 75 upgrade tokens. I got 75 upgrade tokens. A title, 75 upgrade tokens, a title, and 30 days of VIP. What's that? Like 600 Zen, which is like 420. K A D, which is like four days of random cubes dungeons. That's what I got. That's the big deal for this event. I don't I don't know if anybody could call that a big deal. This event let so many players down. Um these hospitalities, you know, they were pumped up. They were pumped up on a stream leading up to this event by um Neverwinter Management. And then they put specifically in the blog that there's exciting new rewards coming from hospitalities. You know what most hospitalities dropped? One renown. One. So you can do 150 hospitalities to get enough to get one Elminster lot lockbox. That's how boring it was. I got two snowflakes. I got no refiners cachets. I got a shitload of this garbage though. Look at these things. These companion 
potions. These things are pure ass. They're pure garbage. The only reason why they have any value is because people are hoping they're bugged in some way in the future. Right? There's no value in these whatsoever because they completely override the potions, any other potion you have. So you can't stack these with anything else. They're not unique, consumable. What a joke. And then, so the only thing of value in this game from this trial or this event, I mean, I'm sorry, it was the lunch boxes. And players are more pissed when they get these because they, they stacked a whole bunch and they're opening them hoping they sell this stuff. But half the contents in this in there, you can't even sell because they're bound to character. The worst possible status you can have because now they're taking up all your character's inventory because you can't move them to an alt and hold them on for later. Like the hot wings, the seed bread, the Nyango, the Moki. Those are at least the character bound food. So if you open them on your healer and you need them on your tank, you're screwed. Or if you open them on your DPS and you need them on your healer, you're screwed. Like this, they made, they made it even worse. So people aren't opening these lunch boxes. They're selling the lunch boxes, hoping people buy them. And they keep, they're actually going down. They'll probably go up in the future because of the shit show they're doing with the second most sacred event of the game. The summer festival is being heavily nerfed again. My God. I don't see any players in any forums whatsoever begging for them to nerf the summer festival or nerf the Jubilee. And they did it. <clears throat> the Jubilee, you know, they had one buff to this event, but it had a huge downside. It used to be before this event, if you followed the merchant through the whole Whispering Caverns, he didn't always drop a Protector's Bounty. He might drop a Renown. And you could follow him the whole way and get six Renowns in that one single Bounty Box. And that kind of stunk because you could be, you had to farm it for hours. And the people who AFK'd there at that campfire, they might have a chance of getting one Bounty Box to drop or one Renown. So it was always more profitable to farm it than it was to sit at the sidelines. And then they changed it where we got way more bounty boxes, but they decentivized running it and they incentivized staying at the campfire. And then players were going from zone to zone to zone to zone with nobody running it because everybody's at the campfire because they made it. Would you rather walk around uh, doing, you know, walk around over and over or stand one spot chilling in uh, lines chat or zone chat or the auction house or doing your dishes or whatever and getting just as much as everybody else is the other people who are working you know uh kind of made it a, a sour point for a lot of people uh i didn't mind either way but i know there were a lot of people upset about that but i just can't believe they made these elements or lunch boxes half the contents bound to character like, people are pissed because they have to delete so many foods. And they never would have thought since the lunchbox is unbound that the content inside, half of them, are bound. Holy shit. My goodness. So we didn't get the fashion and the vendor. We didn't get the seductive gear. We didn't get the discount vouchers as promised in the blog. And if you ask them about it, they put you down. They lowered the drop rates. Oh, I forgot about that one. So we knew the drop rates day one. Aragon made an amazing video. He was the first person in the game to probably farm 1,000 bounties. And then he went and copied it to 10 preview accounts. And then he opened 10,000 just to find out what the drop rates were. It was an amazing piece of work done in such a short period of time, which helped everybody farm. And then his results on preview were not what we were seeing on live everybody was put down let down and that was not Aragon's fault what Aragon did was a complete gem it was such a nice piece of work for the community and he did it so fast that everybody was informed right away why would they not would they make the preview drop rates different than the live drop rates in the opposite direction it was supposed to go so it's like every infuriating thing they could do with this event they did it I can almost argue that if they didn't have this event, players wouldn't be so, players would actually have been better off than they are now. This put a really bad taste in people's mouths. And now they're trolling us, asking us what we can do better next year. And the answer is every single thing you changed, put it back. 
every single thing. Because every little good idea that you had was horrible. This is a complete shit show. This event, I was excited. I did this event way more than I should have. I turned down so many Zemnid runs. Other things that could have made AD to do this event. And I was left empty handed. Man, but the people in our alliance chat, the people in zone chat, the people in the other con uh, platforms that we've seen on Discord and whatnot, everybody's disappointed. What a shit show. And then the summer festival is coming, and they've already announced twice the nerfs they've made to that event to make it even worse. The only thing that I think they need to do, well, you know, the mithril tickets, you know, where we're farming thousands of those um, balls that we kick to get a mithril ticket to get, you know, a legendary mount that's worth 100k in the auction house. That should be updated. It should have been updated over two years ago. Maybe that will be updated. But they've nerfed the food. They've increased the difficulty of getting that food. They've increased the time it takes to get it. Oh, God. What? This is... The thing is, when you lower the amount of food in the economy, the price goes up. So all the players who don't have AD are now left empty. They're spending, wasting more of their AD to get stuff that gives them a slight advantage and boost in the dungeon to get through it. This stuff should be dirt cheap. The farmers who are farming it, yeah, they make a lot. They're probably going to make more because they nerfed the drop rates. It's going to be more sought after. And the players who didn't farm it are going to be paying way more for it. God. And I could carry it away because everybody knows I farm it, right? I got 250,000 foods or some stupidly ridiculously high number like last number last year. If I only get 50,000 this year, it's probably going to sell for five times higher. So either way, I'm going to make a killing off of it. But that's, that hurts the players who want to just get off work and go farm dungeons and kill shit. That they're going to have to pay more to do it or do it slower because they're not going to pay for it. This is a complete shit show. My God, another trolling us, asking us how we could do make it better next year. <laughs> You don't have to ask. We've been telling you for years how to make this better. Well, if you know how to make it better, please comment below. I'm pretty sure somebody may read it. Stay classy, everyone. See you soon.